On page 337 in figure 12-2, we're looking at our sales order entry. In this, we recognize that the starting component for sales is that customer, where the customer calls or the customer communicates. The customer makes inquiries. In the text on page 338, it talks about electronic data interchange, where allowing customers to submit that order electronically, part of that process then puts the responsibility on the customer that information entered within the system is correct. As we saw previously with our, our data flow diagram and the symbols, our data source of our customer is the starting point. The transformation processes that we're going to have in the midst are, one, that order must be taken, whether it be through that electronic submission of the order where the customer does that as self. Another step that we have is our transformation process is that if that customer sale is on account, there has to be approval for that credit. Another transformation project is check available for that inventory. Do we have it? And ultimately then, our next transformation process would be to respond to that customer inquiry, either giving the date that that will be available to them or the date of that expected shipment or the date that it's on hand. But those are the transformation processes. Our data sources and destinations ultimately, as we saw, starts with the customer. But other destinations that we have would be our shipping, Goods are transferred to the customer. The billing, specifically if it is on account. We also have to have, for that shipping, we've got to have inventory in the warehouse. And so, checking to see at what point do we need to make a purchase. In the midst, we have our data flow and what's taking place it starts with that customer giving an order such that we have within our system the taking of that order. The order then moves into that approval for credit with data flow going back to the customer. And as we see off to the side over here, this component is where we have our data storage. After we've had that credit approval, we see that then we check for that inventory and we give back acknowledgement to the customer for that item. Notice up here, I didn't specify that what's getting back to the customer, if they go through that credit check and it's not approved, they get that rejection right away. If it's approved, then it goes on to that check inventory availability with acknowledgement going back to the customer. And again, we're looking at our data and the storage of data. Do we have inventory? And that information then comes back such that we can have that sales order placed. Again, there's another storage of information such that we can respond to the customer. Again, that that sales is completed. Then uh, once we've checked the inventory, notice that we'll either have that uh, sales order go toward the shipping, the sales order go into that billing such that the accounts can be updated. If it's in the warehouse, then we have that picking ticket that selects that item and if needed then we have order going into purchasing such that we have that item on hand. Notice in the text on pages 338 and 339 they talk through that process that we have and the taking 
customer orders in 1.1 with the approved credit on page 339 as in our diagram here as 1.2. It does point out in the text for that approval of credit that to be effective, that a credit approval must take place before the goods are released from inventory. So that's why we have that step right away. Another that we have in here is check inventory availability. Notice on page 341. And they uh, designate the process for that indicating that if the items are not available then we have a back order and the definition for that back order. We also have if they are available then we have that picking ticket. It's to make it uh, available for shipping to the customer. In the midst of all of those so far we have our threats and controls that need to be in place that information is given to us in our text on page 336 and 337 as a summary. But make sure that you read through the text on those pages as well. On page 342, it talks about the responding to customer inquiries. And as we see here, there's a variety of data going back and forth between the company and the customer. Questions or problems? Let me know.